Shalom and welcome to Shemitah Torah. This year is entitled Rational Suicide. Is that an oxymoron? Such a term absolutely typical to Judaism. So the answer is, I asked a few questions at the same time with different answers. Rational suicide is an oxymoron. Is it against Judaism? So an oxymoron depends where the term is coming from. Who's bringing it up? For Judaism, it's one thing. For the world, it's something else. The world certainly has been back and forth over the centuries about what we're here for. 60s, Woodstock, America. We're here for our own pleasures. Just do whatever feels right. Man wants to be with a man. Woman wants to be with a woman. A man with a man and a woman. Anything goes. A man feels like a woman. A woman feels like a man. Anything you feel like, just do. It's nothing to do with divine. Nothing to do with spirituality. It all has to do with what feels right. So if a person feels, I've reached the end of my line. The studies in America have shown an increase in suicide, planned suicide among the elderly, almost 10,000 a couple of years ago. We thought out, planned suicide. This person went ahead, went into his car at night, took a tube from the uh, tailpipe, had a nice bottle of whiskey in the car with him, had the tube go into the car, and that was it. And the story's like that. Science Times has an article, and just hear some of the quotes. Hear some of the quotes. Old Americans are increasingly looking to exercise control over their deaths. You've completed the things you wanted to do. You see life satisfactions getting smaller and the burdens getting larger. At that point, it might be rational to end your life, the article quotes Dr. Davis. Unfortunately, in the world we currently live in, if you don't take control of life's end, it's going to go in a way which you don't like. So what Dr. Davis is saying, it's rational. If you are living with this world only, if you don't have God, Torah, mitzvot, where there's a bigger picture, there's a neshama, tzelem alakim. God gave us our body and our soul for a certain amount of time to develop and to grow and to have the vekut closeness to Hashem. That's a whole nother set of rules and criteria where our life is, so to speak, on loan from God and we have to go ahead and treat our life and our body according to the manufacturer's instructions, according to Hashem's instructions. It's a whole different world. Do not resuscitate, to resuscitate. When can we just leave, let our body naturally die? And we have to do heroic measures. Those are all great Torah halachic questions from someone who knows that we are here as a gift from God living life according to God's rules. Someone else who's not in that position, so they'll just say, well, where do I get more pleasure? Where am I more satisfied? I'm not having so much satisfaction right now. I think I'm just going to end it. I may not even believe in a soul. I may not believe in God. It's a different set of circumstances. So to answer our original question, rational suicide, from a Torah Jew's perspective, no. We appreciate every minute that Hashem has given, and even when it's excruciating and it's painful and the life here is not simple, we once again, as Rosal Vechik famously said, surrender to the Almighty to see what is His will, what should we do in this situation, can we let ourselves or let our loved ones just pass on, do we need to intervene, just have oxygen, liquid, we surrender to the Almighty, and we make the most that we possibly can according to God's rules and according to Allah that we make the most that we can out of the precious few years that Hashem has given us so we can have a meaningful life down here and in Yitz Hashem with God's health eternal life as well Shalom